If you've landed on this video and feel drawn to watch this, this message is intended for you. And the way it works is that you take what you need and you leave what you don't, whatever pops into your mind, that is what the message is intended for you. Okay, and so the first tarot card that we got is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is heavy energy. Especially if you're an empath and very sensitive, you are feeling the effects of just a heavy heart at the moment, just feeling blocked, feeling separated from what you are truly want, what you truly want. And it just feels like there's something that has been blocking you. You just feel like you're at a standstill, especially with the Two of Swords following that. Feeling like you're at a crossroads. This is what you're feeling. Remember, these are what the energy um, that are surrounding you right now and I can feel it when I tune in I can feel like there's just so much feeling lost energy here and also you know with the two of swords she's got an option she's got she can go this way or she can go that way all she needs to do is take off her blindfold and look at the moon the moon is well the moon will shine the light on her she's got options water is flowing water is flow energy and by her holding on to two things and overthinking she's actually setting herself back especially with the three of swords okay and the three of swords is just a burden at the moment it's just something that you've been experiencing now last week i did talk about the planetary influences that has a lot to that has a lot to do with this so you can go and rewatch my previous video from last week and it'll explain some planetary influences that are happening but also there's good things too because it's renewal it's rebirth i didn't it doesn't look like it's it's not all gloom it's actually a positive thing because it looks like as you can see it looks like there's a storm coming but you know storms rainbows happen after storms in some places and also clouds pass by this is like an overcast this is a storm it is changing it is shifting eight of cups is leaving the past behind so this is one thing that you are being nudged right now to do some clearing. Now, when I say clearing, it doesn't have to necessarily mean clean your house. It doesn't mean that you have to break up with someone. It doesn't mean that you have to um, walk away from your job. What it means is that you need to clear the clutter. See, there's still the moon. There's a lot of la luna here. <laughs> there's a lot of moon. Moon is energy um, that is hidden. So there's a lot of hidden energy. So it's basically telling you that you need to just walk over it's almost like she's doing that she's if she takes the blindfold puts her swords down takes the blindfold off she can walk off and and move forward so this is what it's telling you it's actually a um, card of moving forward and not looking back as you can see she is not looking back or he they are not looking back this person is not looking back so it's important not to worry about what others think or what others what what the other person's gonna you got to look after yourself that's what this is telling you because everything is relating to a past judgment or a past thinking pattern or it's just someone else's thought. It's just somebody else's uh, or somebody shamed you. Whatever that may be, whatever jumps out to you is actually the message. And uh, yeah, you, you kind of feel like you're going around in a circle. Does that sound familiar? Because I know I am feeling it so strong. Even before I got onto this making this video, I was just feeling the effects. I feel the effects before every reading. When I do a reading, I feel the effects of everybody or that person that I'm going to read for. And I can feel, oh, wow, there's some heavy energy, not just by looking at the cards, because the cards have, they have their own um, mind of their own and, you know, they have their own descriptions and everything, but I feel things really strong. And the things that I'm feeling is like, oh, this is just take the blindfold off, move forward. And I was, I was not surprised when I looked at the cards and when they, <laughs> they came up, but the, it's telling us right now that we need to do that. And if we do that, we can actually find freedom. And that's what we're looking for, freedom. The high priestess also tells us that we need to listen more to your intuition. We, I need to listen to my intuition. You need to listen to your intuition. You need to listen to that inner voice that's actually telling you something. And you need to just step back and listen to it. Sometimes when we overthink, like the two of swords, and these are both twos, when we overthink, we, we tend to sabotage ourselves 
and you got options and you can see there's two pillars there there's the black there's the white it's like telling you there's something that you need to make a choice on and sometimes the choice is not an easy choice sometimes it's telling you that you need to just look at the problem look at the situation and whatever it is maybe it isn't a problem there's nothing that's bothering you it's just more of something that's in your heart that could be you know instead of looking at what could be or what has happened or that about that person whatever it is if your question is about a person or if it's about if you're thinking about it when i say question i mean like why are you here why are you watching this video is it for something that's telling you message that you need to know just in life in general this is telling you that you need to listen more to that intuition more to that inner voice because guess what you are aligned to your higher power right here with the two of cups this is a partnership you are in, you are co-creating your future you are co-creating your life you are co-creating you are manifesting everything remember whatever your thought patterns are whatever you're putting into your mind whatever you're feeding your mind whatever you're feeding it's like you know food it's like whatever you're feeding yourself it's going to it's going to show up right if you eat bad food i don't know why i said that maybe somebody is watching this that needs to hear it you're going to not have the greatest quality feeling after you eat it you know i'm just giving you an example it's whatever even when you watch a movie or watch something that's not the greatest show or something or I, you know what whatever jumps up is the message so it's about just putting that energy of whatever into you and just trusting it and going with it going with the flow this is just flow energy and it's just about a flow state being in that flow state because everything is already happening exactly as it should be you need to be more patient you need to take your time what you need to do this is what i'm hearing from spirit when i'm when I'm holding this card, you need to just sit back, slow down, calm the ego chatter, calm the mind, walk away from all those thoughts that are telling you, you can't do it. He doesn't love me. She doesn't love me. I am not good enough. I'm not going to accomplish anything or whatever that is. Those things, it's good to feel your shadows. Yes, I, I agree. It's good to feel the, the, the pain, the loss to grieve over it but you know what after that it's about moving out of that it's about not believing that feel your feels whatever's going on but just trust you need to turn it around the best way to look for uh to turn it around is to look for happiness look for gratitude happiness uh, meaning the little things in your life that bring you joy okay i always like to clear the clutter and walk away and just you know clear and delete it's kind of like going on your phone and just right now just take out all the old pictures that you're not using or if there's duplicates there's a lot of duplicates in your phone think about your phone as your mind there's a lot of duplicates <laughs> you need to go into it you need to go into your photos and you need to delete you need to old go into your computer delete old documents you know you just need to delete old you know old files that no longer serve you go into your bankers boxes Go into your files, anything that's old, you know, go into it and just let it go. What it does not belong to you anymore. It's not, it's not yours to carry. Even look in your closet. You know, I can go on with a lot of things that you can declutter, but it's about slowing down, slowing your mind down and slowing down it. Cause when you do, what's going to happen, I'll tell you it, you are going to be able to manifest, to think clear. You're going to be able to see the filters will come off. You know, like it's like looking at a glass of water. Now, the glass of water, you can put it in a blue glass. And what does that water look like? It looks like it's blue, but it's clear. You can put it in a red glass. It looks like it's red. But you need to clear the filter. You need to clear the data. You need to clear all of the the old clutter that is just taking up space on your hard drive that you don't need to do. You don't need it. You don't need it. I know. It takes a lot of work. <laughs> it's not easy, but slow down. This is the sun. And you know, the sun is one of my favorite cards in the deck. It is a beautiful card. I painted the sun. I'll show you the sun after um, I talk about this. The sun is bright, it is warm, but also the sun, too much sun can burn. So it's about using the sun to lighten up what has been dark. As you can see, the, the two of swords, there, it's feeling like things are hopeless. There is hope. Having faith, 
believing in your own self, believing in your intuition, believing in you, walking away from those voices, because when you do, I'll tell you, things are going to shift and turn right around. I promise you, I promise you. This week is about planting the seeds and beginning. And also we are still feeling those effects of the new moon because it's all, we're still in that phase. It's about shifting, it's about changing. Autumn is coming around the corner and we are going to the autumn equinox, or if you are on another part of the world, it might be the spring equinox, and that's fine too. It's everything is shifting. There's a change happening. You can feel it in the air, feel it in the air. So you need to do what you need to do. Put some music on, do some decluttering, do some, take that time out. There's never that word. That, you know when I hear people say to me, I don't have time for that. Yes, you do. You just gotta make that time. It's a small chunk of time. And I, t I promise if you do that, you're going to see a huge difference in your energy. Your feeling's gonna feel better. This feeling of this heaviness is going to be lifted and you will see how things will start to clear, okay? And if you need more guidance and a deeper reading, more something more specific that you would like to ask, more personal, please visit my website, Mary Rose Intuitive. Dot com and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for joining me and have an awesome day.